When Chazal chose which parts of the Torah we would read on specific days, so they were very focused on finding a section of the Torah that would indicate to us what the theme of that day would be. So it's no surprise that we read about Akedah Sitzchak on Rosh Hashanah. Many times throughout the tefillah, we invoke the merit of Akedah Sitzchak. Uh, the shofar comes from the, the horn of the, of the ram that uh, reminds us of Akedah Sitzchak, either to say to Hashem, even though I might not be worthy of being judged for life, but remember the sacrifices that Avram and Yitzchak made, and because I'm one of their children, so for sure uh, we should be written in the Book of Life, or maybe even, maybe more accurately, uh, Avram and Yitzchak made certain sacrifices, and even though right now I might not be that one that merits to, to have life, but I'm, I have their genes inside of me, so maybe one day I could get to that point. So I get it, Yitzchak, we understand why that's the reading for the second day. But the question is, why do we read that part uh, the first day? It's the few prakim in the Torah that precede Akedah Yitzchak. Is it just that as we're leading up to day two, so we want to get the part in the Torah that's the story right before Akedah Yitzchak? Of course, there's mention also of Hashem Pakada Sarah Kasher Amar, that Hashem remembered Sarah, that she should have a baby. Maybe that happened on Rosh Hashanah, so that's the reading. And then the rest is just a bridge between Hashem Pakad and, and Akedah Yitzchak. But if we look at that, uh, that reading, which is mostly about Ishmael of all people, so the middle pasuk of that reading is a part of the story where Yishmael is about to die of thirst. And the Medrash brings down that the Malachim at that point go crazy and they say to Hashem, this is it. We could save the Jews a lot of bloodshed and a lot of tragedy. Let him die. We're not even asking you to do anything miraculous. Let nature take its course and, and don't get involved over here. Let, let Yishmael go. And then the Jews will, for the rest of the future, uh, they'll have a much better life. But Hashem very famously says, that's not the way that I operate. And by Hashem not being active in a certain way, that is him being active. Hashem says, Yishmael right now doesn't deserve to die, Ba'asher Husham, is that even in the future, he might be problematic, but Ba'asher Husham, those three huge words right in the middle of the reading, so, so therefore Hashem is not going to let Yishmael die. And there's an important message about that for our, for our Rosh Hashanah, Ba'asher Husham. It doesn't matter what we did the previous year. It doesn't matter how bad the sins might have been. Ba'asher Husham, Hashem says, I want to hear from you today. And on the other end, there's also another point, Ba'asher Husham. Some of us might think, yes, maybe I'll commit to loving HaKadosh Baruch Hu today. Maybe I'll commit to not doing those sins again. But let's be serious. Uh, come November, December, I mean, what are the chances I'm still going to be holding strong? So Hashem says, Ba'asher Husham, don't worry about the past. Don't worry about the future. What is it that we're doing today? And if today, for just a few minutes, I could dedicate myself to crowning Hashem as the king, so then that is, uh, so that's our avoda. And perhaps that's also indicative by the calendar. Because if Rosh Hashanah was a judgment based on what we've done previously, so then it really should have been the last day of the year. But it's the first day of the new year to tell us, Basher Husham, whatever happened in the past happened, let that go. We'll have a day on Yom Kippur, we'll be able to talk about the past. But today, it's about what my commitment is for the future. And let that commitment, Basher Husham, let's figure out how we could fall in love with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the King of the World. You wrote some of the Minish Shabbat Shemayim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu should help us give, give us that clarity uh, of what our purpose in life is and to head forward in our relationship with Him. Ha, sa, ha, sa.